am London K and I absolutely love to crochet. And who are you? <laughs> I'm Chase, I'm London's sister and I don't know how to crochet. We are so bad at intros. because today we're gonna to be learning a few things. I'm gonna be teaching you what tools you need, how to do a slip knot, how to chain, and how to single crochet. And how to end your work. Yeah, and I'm gonna teach Chase along with you all to prove how easy it is because if she can do it, anybody Anyone can. Anyone can do it. She's smart, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but. The tools that you need are a pair of scissors, a crochet hook, and some yarn. Punto final. We're gonna be using a 20 millimeter crochet hook that I actually 3D printed myself. Oh, not too much. much. You can get them at londonk.com. And Hometown USA Lion Brand yarn. I like acrylic yarn. Lion Brand has so many colors and choices, so I always use their yarn. Cool. And scissors, I mean, come on. Do I really need to explain? No, no. So, Yarn, we're just using a thicker yarn though because with the big hook, you either wanna double up on your yarn or use a thick yarn. And you can just put the yarn on the floor and keep the tail in your hand. And so we need to make a slip knot, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know you know what's up. You're cool with the uh, crochet. Okay. okay, so just teach it. <laughs> okay. Okay, how I do it is I take my pointer finger and my index finger and I wrap the yarn around it all the way one time and then your little tail here you're gonna make a loop and pull it through nice and slow and stop it just before that little end there makes its way all the way through if you didn't catch it the first time just go back a few seconds in the video and, and watch, watch it, again. it again and then and then keep going technology, technology. Well, amazing. Okay, okay. Um, so first we have to make a chain. I feel like I'm the teacher here. Why? I'm saying everything we have to do. We have to make a chain. Okay, well, you're, you're really smart. <laughs> the first part of making a chain is actually putting your hook inside of that slip knot and hold the hook in your dominant hand. So we're both right-handed, but if you're left-handed, that's cool, just hold the hook in your other hand. When you hold the yarn, just put it in your non-dominant hand. Very okay. nice. Very nice. And That's keep it nice enough. and loose, you know? Relax. Shake it up. Shake it up. This little tail down here, you're going to hold that in the same hand as your hook. And you're going to take the yarn and wrap it away from your body and towards you. It's as if I'm teaching Pilates. <laughs> then you're going to turn the hook and pull that yarn right through. I did great. You did great. Let's do that again. You're gonna do this 11 times. So that was one. That was one. Away from you, towards you, and then turn the hook and pull that loop through. Very nice. And you're moving your, I guess we'll call it chain, from your non-dominant hand when you turn the hook back to your dominant hand once that loop is complete. We've done three. This is four. You know what we're doing? Five. Uh, yeah, but we're chaining. Chain, chain, chain. Chain, 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 chain. Chain of fools, chain of fools. When my mama told you <laughs> I was a young girl, I was a young girl. <laughs> Those aren't the words. Really? <laughs> well, at least we can keep the rights on YouTube then. How many have we done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine. You have two more left. Sorry, I got a little ahead of you there. Eleven. I'm doing eleven. All right. Let's just give a... I'm exhausted. It's hot in New York City and my mom likes it when we sit out tall. Feels so good to slouch. We've done a lot already. Let's just review. We've gone over the tools. We've learned how to make a slip knot. We've now chained. Now we're gonna go on to the single crochet. Okay. Which is really the only thing you need to know to do anything crochet related. So that's all Lennon does. That's all I know how to do. Shh. shh. 
Put the yarn in your non-dominant hand, hook in your dominant hand. Right, we've gone over that so many times. Okay, but now we're gonna start something new. Skip the first loop, and you're gonna go into the second loop. You only do this for the first row. Repeat that. You only do this for the first row. Good, you're listening. So, second loop from your hook, put your hook in, and you're gonna bring the yarn towards your body and pull it under the hook. Just one. Just one. And then you have two loops on your hook. Then you're gonna wrap the yarn away from your body, back towards you, and go through two. We do the exact same thing in the next loop. So we go into the loop, yarn towards you, pull through just one, and then wrap it back to front, away from you, and pull through two. Oh, you're ahead of me? Yeah. Wow, maybe you should be teaching this tutorial. <laughs> next, into the next loop, yarn in front, pull through one, wrap it from back to front, pull through two. When you go back, because we skipped the first loop, we're only gonna have 10 single crochets back. Really, really good. Very nice. Did I do it? Yeah. How does it feel? Good. Good. And if your loops, again, are not all the same size, Chase. What? Well, there's some discrepancies here. It's Aww. okay. It's just... <laughs> I think mine looks pretty good. Yeah, me too. Okay. So now we're gonna flip our work. So you're gonna take it from one side and move it to the other side. And the little tail needs to be facing the ground. Right now your little tail's up in the air. Oh, so I go like There that. you go. There you go. Always? Wait. Yeah, little tail always has to be on the ground. Okay, okay, okay. The ground. okay. This dog is sad. Okay. And we're starting over. But this time you're gonna go in the first loop directly next to your hook. No need to skip. One. Two. Good. <laughs> you guys yeah. are doing great. You're doing great. Wow. Wow. Susie couldn't couldn't be better. I think Susie's crocheted before. I think she's crocheted before Me too. too. I think I'm on seven. Oh, I don't know where I'm at. Cool. It's a great thing to do on the subway. It's a great thing to do while watching Netflix. Great thing to do while driving. No. And keep it loose. Keep it loose. Oh, okay. Shake it out. I think I did it, right? You did. Let's flip again. Okay. Row number three, a breeze. Two is the hardest row by far. Okay, it goes like this. One's the easiest, two's the hardest, three on, exact same skill set level, easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. We're gonna keep on using that same single crochet stitch to make a swatch. And we're just gonna go back and forth and back and forth until we have a nice piece of crochet. Let's do it. Let's do it. A few inches later. I never get to just sit around and crochet with Chase. No. I'm always the one just crocheting. How does it feel though? Um, like a chore. What? <laughs> <laughs> you aren't enjoying the process? Well, I guess not yet. Much, much, much later. Okay. Beautiful! I did it. You did it! Cool. What'd you make? I made a, um... Um... A sleeping mask. Ooh, nice. But the light really shines through <laughs> with all these big holes. Um, so... How do you end this? Congratulations! Um, get your... Take your scissors and cut it maybe about two inches away from your hook. Why is it in my hand? Just put it down. Just my dominant it. hand is holding my hook. Okay, well, so now all you're gonna do is pull your hook and let the string pull out with it. Ooh. The yarn made that sound, not me. That was fun. Wasn't it? And I like to just kind of loop it through the very last loop. This one? Uh-huh. And put the tail through the loop that you just made. And that's, that's done. So you can cut that piece really close. We'll leave a, leave a, a millimeter or something. And then the little tail down at the bottom, pull on that, make it tight, and cut that one too. Boom. 
Oh. I could use the nap. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Give it a thumbs up if you liked this video and leave a comment letting us know uh, how you did and if there's um, anything else specifically you'd like to learn from London. And yeah, me. From I, me. Yay. yay! Are you are you in love with crochet now? No. Bye! Bye.